So Ruby on Rails and Django are two comparable web development frameworks. If you're uncertain about which one will help you achieve your business needs, this video will come up with the solution. Even though Ruby on Rails and Django have been on the market for almost 20 years, Django has actually gathered a larger community due to its simplicity. According to the latest survey conducted by Stack Overflow, from a total of 42,000 respondents, nearly 14.2% of developers use Django, while only 7% use Ruby on Rails. In terms of their market share, Django has a market share of 28.61%, while Ruby on Rails has a market share of 27%. So in popularity, they're quite comparable and very similar. Both frameworks and their respective languages feature large communities, so you can get help when detecting specific bugs. In terms of their speed and performance, raw language or web framework speed is usually checked only by measuring it via a real experiment on a real app. Ruby on Rails has proven itself to be faster than Django by 0.7%, so in speed and performance, Ruby on Rails wins. Building an API with Ruby on Rails can be incredibly complex as Rails has no equivalent to Django's REST framework. However, Django is widely used for platforms with complex API architecture that rely on data from third parties. So Django's REST-based architecture is one of the most prominent advantages of this web framework. In terms of their installation, having tested Ruby on Rails versus Django in terms of installation, Django obviously takes the first place. Django features a simple installation system that can be completed in just a few clicks. The installation of Rails is much more painful. So here are some examples of cases in which you should choose the Django framework. When you're working with huge databases and complex database driven websites due to its powerful ORM, when you have various data visualization and analysis projects, different projects requiring math and complex computing, or when you want machine learning and artificial intelligence solutions. So here are some examples of cases when you should use Ruby on Rails. When you're meeting short deadlines and creating quick solutions, when you're creating products with real-time updates and advanced scalability, when you're developing simple projects and MVPs for the projects that require quick prototyping, when you want to work with popular front-end frameworks and libraries, when you have a complex project with unique features and cutting-edge functionalities, or for startups and small businesses that require high scalability and performance. So if you're still uncertain which framework is right for your project, Ruby on Rails works better for early stage startups and small organizations. Therefore, if your project requires a simple web app delivered within the shortest timeframes, you should use Rails. On the contrary, Django will fit best for large companies that are searching for a standardized large scale web development solution. So thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Comment down below which one you think is better and I'll see you in the next one.